Hey Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is your March 2018 general love and relationship messages or reading. <clears throat> the messages or reading will, will be for uh, Libra moon and Libra rising. All right, my fellow Libras, I hope all is well. Now, to be honest with you, I did get a little concerned <laughs> when I started flipping these cards over and the very first card I flipped over was the eight of cups. Uh, but that could be just for Libra two that I'm reading for related to, um, you know, relationships or having to feel the eight of cups energy as we speak or as we enter into, um, the month of March. Now, the Eight of Cups normally represents in the upright position, walking away from uh, possibly a relationship. Uh, I'm focusing only on love and relationships. I'm not discussing any other areas or aspects of your life, but it may be just, you know, you feel in some type of way, or if it's not your energy, it could be related to energy and association with a partner, um, but doesn't necessarily uh, indicate a split or walking away. It could be just there's a lot of emotional stuff going on that you're either um, holding within or the person that you're with is uh, holding within, but you don't want to deal with it no more. OK, the best news that I have for you is outside of that eight of cups, you do have uh, some very, very positive cards in this energy here. So I hope that uh, it is helpful and beneficial for you. Even the Vera Sibylla card that I have selected for you, uh, which is in the reverse position. But once I get to it, it's the Viaggio. It's the card of travel. But when I was reading the description of what the Viaggio uh, meant in the reverse, it's actually very, very good. So, you know, these reversal cards, um, sometimes in this book and using the Vera Sibylla, it, it doesn't always apply to any negative energy. So this is why I like using the Vera Sibylla. So this energy could be used in collaboration with your overall reading that I'm about to do for you. Or it could be a standalone uh, message uh, for those Libras who come to the video and uh, want to hear this message. And it's for you. OK. And this other reading has nothing to do with you. But anyway. Let me just move on. So let me show you the Eight of Cups is starting your energy. So some of you may be feeling this type of way now or entering into the month of uh, March about relationships. OK, just feeling some type of way emotionally. It may not be your energy. It may be the energy, like I have stated before, of a partner, Cancer, Scorpio uh, or Pisces, male or female directly. It doesn't necessarily have to be directly. It could be uh, any zodiac sign in this energy. All right. So. That could be the theme for you uh, in the month of March. But I like the fact that you have majors here that, <laughs> that may trump this energy. So it could be that someone is feeling some type of way with a fire sign, having some sort of emotional stuff going on with a fire sign. Fire sign energy is they're fighting petty arguments, tick for tack shit, as I normally would say. Sometimes uh, making you feel defensive or feeling like you're being attacked that crosses the eight of cups. So it could be just that one Libra or two that um, comes along and sees this video. And I'm talking about them having some sort of energy related to um, a fire sign. OK, they're starting arguments and it's making you feel some type of way emotionally because you're not the argumentative type of person or energy. OK, and you don't want to deal with that. Following the um, five of wands, uh, wands representing Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, by the way, four of wands. OK, so there's um, some instance of uh, energy related to a possibly a cohabitation with a fire sign. Maybe, you know, things are going on right now and then things start to quiet down, you know, as the uh, month progress. Uh, but this is uh, could be, a, a you know, moving in with someone as I pick up. Uh, this is a family home or cohabitation. This is an actual, uh, oftentimes I pick up as a building or a relocation. It could be a moving in with someone, whether or not it's with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, doesn't really matter. Someone is going to end up um, moving in with someone. Okay, starting a family possibly. This is what this card represents. Four of Wands is a very positive card. Uh, whether it's in the upright or in the uh, reverse position, certain things I pick up when uh, these cards show up in the reverse and I'll, you know, speak about that. But for right, you know, right now it's in the upright position for you, Libra. And this is um, good energy. 
good energy to come. Death card is never, never anything about physical death. It's having to release uh, something that no longer resonates with you and stay focused on love and relationships. That could be a relationship or just doing things um, differently or the same that has not worked out for you in terms of a relationship if you're single because this reading is for singles and for couples okay release whatever has not worked for you or worked out for you in the past time to let it go the death card comes in as a reminder okay it's time for you to let that shit go because we have something new this is a card of transformation once you're able to release and let go of whatever is uh, not or no longer you know resonating for you then there's something new coming in all right that's what the death card is all about nothing uh ever related to physical death so i don't read it as such following that death card is then the card of uh f the four of cups and you know i like to see the cups show up even though the energy starts off with the eight of cups it just might be some of you feeling some type of way going into the month of march and you're dealing with a specific relationship or partnership this is the card of going out to socialize, uh, being seen, um, being around like-minded individuals who share the same, um, you know, thoughts and uh, energy as you. Okay, this is a card of happiness, social invitation, uh, contentment, and just being enamored. Okay, now this could be for couples as well that you go out. And since March, you know, depending on where you live and I think it's uh, Cinco de Mayo is uh, celebrated in March, so it could be part of that. That also could be a message coming in for singles. If you do go out and you celebrate that, that could be where you meet uh, someone who is attracted to you or you, you become attracted to that person. See, just look at the gentleman there and he's got uh, two females on his back. So he's being adorned and then there's onlookers cheering him on. So that could be you. Um in a social situation because this is a card of social uh, exchange for me four of cups feeling of good good moods happiness and satisfaction and contentment following following the four of cups now Libra is the lover's card and I like that lover's card is representing not only your energy uh, but it represents Gemini specifically and then also Aquarius male or female so this is the coming together of Possibly a new relationship in the month of March for those singles. And it also could be uh, an event because this is, you know, having the same romantic chemistry, um, being uh, like minded individuals, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page, getting along well with your partner. Or this is a connection. I'm not talking about friendships. I'm not talking about jobs, business. I'm talking about romantic partnerships. Okay. Now, the lover's card, as I said before, even though the Eight of Cups starts your energy overall, this lover's card could trump whatever energy that's going on. Think of the cards that are above as the first half of the month. And you may be going in feeling this way at the beginning of the month. Then something happens, at, you know, with the energy or there's a change of energy with the Four of Wands, the Death card four of cups and then the lover's card okay next card that follows the lover's card is having a choice maybe there's you know a couple of people if you take yourself out socially and you know you meet people then you there's more people uh that become attracted to you and now you're conflicted a little bit and there's a little anxiety there having to pick between two this is the number two this is your energy and that energy of uh scorpio no i'm sorry your energy and that energy of aquarius and Gemini male or female just feeling a little bit conflicted because there's a choice or taking action some sort of decision that you need to make related to another person next card that follows that two of swords there Libra is the chariot positive energy moving forward okay I always equate this chariot with the star card and the nine of cups when it shows up uh, hopes wishes and dreams becoming fulfilled uh, progression and relationships and the chariot represents cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, male or female, but it could also represent any zodiac sign in its energy, but specifically cancer. And it may be um, some sort of cohabitation or moving in with either a fire sign or a cancer that's coming up for some Libras in the future or in the month of March. All right. So this is the card that uh, sort of troubled me a little bit. Uh, but even still, 
the higher font is the major arcana is showing up in the reverse this is definitely a relationship card so maybe there's an instance of the higher font being underneath the death card and it's a specific message for a libra to release a taurus taurus represents the higher font or another earth sign capricorn or virgo uh, in the reverse position, that means there is going to be a release or letting go of a relationship or that particular relationship that is not resonating with you. Death says, let it go. And then we have something new coming in by the lover's card. OK, so don't have any um, fears about, you know, letting go of a relationship that is not resonating with you. All right. People come into our lives to uh, teach us things. Once that teaching is done. That's when the problems begin. This is when divorce occurs. Okay. They can't teach you anymore. It's time for you to move on and allow someone else to come into your life to teach you something that you need to know or you teach them something they need to know. Okay. We cannot hang on to something that is stale, stagnant, and is not benef you know, benefiting us in any type of way, shape, or form. Maybe this is why the Eight of Cups is showing up here at the onset of this reading. All right. But as things progress and move on, it gets a, so much better, so much better. So my message is for you uh, with the death card. If it is a relationship that you need to let go of Libra, let that shit go. All right. Because something new is coming in following the four of cups. I'm sorry, the death card. What's following the death card is the four of cups, the lovers, even though there's a little conflict going on with someone, the chariot. Then you have the higher font, the indication, okay? Give up hope, give up faith, but that relationship is not going to work out if you try to hang on to it. And if you do try to hang on to it, the Eight of Cups comes back in here. And then it says it's going to give you some, it's going to make you miserable, all right? Then after you achieve whatever it is that you're supposed to achieve in terms of having to let go based on the death card, then there's balance, major arcana showing up in the upright okay there's a restoration of some sort of balance equanimity coming back towards you sagittarius representing uh the temperance card but it also could represent other fire energies whether or not you have exchanges with these it doesn't really matter i think the overall theme is whatever starts at the beginning of the month in emotional disarray then it's balanced by the end of the month because you have all this other positive energy in between that's going to help you all right Anyway, that's what I have for you, Libra, and um, various ability that I have selected for you. And again, it could be in collaboration uh, with this reading, or it could be just for those Libras that need to, you know, come to the video and hear the message. And it could be a standalone. Whatever you choose to do is, perf you know, perfectly fine uh, with me. But I have selected Viaggio for you, and this is the Three of Clubs, Cartomancy. Vera Sibylla says, um, let me get this straight because it's a lot of information. And like I said before, just because they show up in the reverse doesn't necessarily indicate uh, negativity, you know. And this is why I like using these cards. This card takes on a variety of meanings. It usually foretells of an unforeseen event of a positive nature that will change the querent's life. Querent being you that I'm reading for uh, Libra for the better. OK, something by surprise. Something comes in by surprise. This card could indicate a very lucky situation and opportunity that seems to arise by chance or coincidence. A helping hand from the divine and a positive evolution in a situation that has been stagnant too long. Improvement of a situation, whether for business or love. And I'm not talking about business. So there you go. This is. Uh, the Viaggio, Three of Clubs in the Reverse. And I was kind of surprised to read all of this positive energy related to this card, even though it showed up in the reverse. And of course, you know, the, the connotations in the uh, upright position are just as positive. You know, this is usually traveling and moving. Uh, you have the chariot as the traveling and positive energy moving forward. This card comes in to uh, possibly connect with the chariot. Things are still positive. And moving forward. Okay. You can look at it that way. But that's what I have for you Libra. Uh, so. I hope it's helpful and beneficial. Uh, I want to wish you a month full of love and light. Always emphasizing safety. Please be safe wherever you are. Be vigilant. Okay. Don't be paranoid or crazy. Just be. Uh, know where your surroundings. Or when you're in. You know. Out and about in your environment. 
um, because things are getting crazier. All right. And um, it's going to get a lot worse. Unfortunately, I had to say that, but it is going to get a lot worse. Uh, so anyway, until I talk to you again, since um, I have to talk to you real soon because I have to put the bi-weeklies up, um, sort of caught me by surprise that uh, they're due already. Uh, with that being said, though, until I talk to you again, wishing you all well. Take care, Libra. And this is a good month. I like this energy for you. Take care. But somebody will find a problem with it. Anyway, goodbye.